So you want to sell your home and you want to learn the fastest tips on how to do that and to achieve the best results for you? Well, stay tuned because we're going to jump on that right after this. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. So if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach and the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know, where you want to live, eat, work, and play. All right, so today I'm at Lakewood Mall. We have a little kiosk here. And but anyways, let's get on with today's topic. So, you're looking to sell your home, and you want to sell it as fast as possible and achieve the most as possible. Well, let me give you a couple of tips on what I've learned. And step number one, let's just face it. Where does everybody start to look for a home? The internet, of course. So therefore, it is crucial so that you have professional taken photos of your home. Because let's just face it, those pictures suck when they're scrolling down, they're just going to go right past it. The only people that are going to stop on that are going to be the investors who are only going to willing to pay wholesale prices. So right off the bat, just from the pictures, you're already attracting the wrong clientele. And you shouldn't have to worry about that because your realtor should take care of that and let you approve all photos that represent your home. Now, I don't care if you're asking three quarters of a million dollars for your home or you're asking a quarter of a million dollars for your home. That's a lot of money of your assets and it needs to be represented in that manner. So it doesn't matter if it's high or low, you've got to be treated the same way. Professionally done ph photography is represented the same way. Everything I'm talking about in this video has to be done the exact same process. And it pisses me off when I see photos on MLS half a million dollar home when they, all they did was just take pictures with their iPhone. They didn't do any lighting. They didn't do anything to prepare your home. And trust me, that is not doing you any favors. As a matter of fact, that is only hurting you. So let me show you some examples of the pictures today that are, are that are in the MLS. Now this picture is from a $525,000 listing. Now when you see a picture like this, that represents this and this picture is just terrible. It just makes you want to wonder what are they not showing? Cause you know, they're hiding something there. If this is the best picture that they have, check this out. You got a person in the picture. The homeowner is in the picture and he's blurry, but people aren't even supposed to be in the picture. You still have the pet cage, the fan in the middle of the room. And this one looks like the realtor just stuck his phone in the bedroom and snapped a picture. Probably if somebody was sleeping, but then they stuck it on the MLS. How could a realtor think this low of their client and think this low of their home to put this on to represent their $500,000 home? I don't get it. Now, the next picture is difference between night and day. Look at this. It's airy. It's bright. From a realtor standpoint, this picture is awesome. It tells a great story. You can see the details in the cabinets. You can look, you can see the texture on the backsplash. You can see the different colored knobs on the stove. It's just a light, bright, airy picture. This is how you show off your home. This is a gorgeous picture. It shows the hardwood floor. The recess light. God, this house looks really familiar. Oh yeah, this house is coming soon to you for sale. But this is a beautiful, professionally done picture. And this is how you want to represent your home. And it doesn't matter if it's a $250,000 home or a $750,000 home. This is how you attract the buyers from start one. And as far as how many pictures you should do, well, as long as you're taking great pictures like this and they're telling a story and they're showing everything, the more the better. So we, now we have a fantastic photo portfolio of your home to go on the internet for people to look at. And you have approved every picture 
So now you're attracting the right clientele. Curb appeal. Number two. So now, potential buyers have scrolled through the internet. They know what they like. They, they, they've narrowed it down. They decided to come to your house due to your photos. So when they pull up, you want to make sure that that grass is cut, the weeds are pulled, the flowers look fresh, uh, the exterior has been washed down. We're not talking money here, okay? You haven't spent any money preparing your home. So we're just going through your home, trimming the bushes, just giving it that good looking, well manicured look. They scroll through all the pictures on the internet. They loved your photos. They pulled up to your house. They loved the curb appeal. So now they're gonna walk in. Now the house has to be clean and it has to be pet odor friendly. And I'm in that same boat. I have two dogs. My mom comes walking over and she just like, oh, the dog smell. I can't smell it at all. I don't know. But some people do get offended. So you just gotta make sure you go through, you deep clean. A lot of people think that they need to paint, replace baseboards, replace carpeting, yada, 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 all that different kind of stuff. In reality, you don't have to. All you have to do, TSP, good old fashioned, deep clean, get in there, elbow grease. You can hire a crew if you want to, or just get in it and do it yourself. Just make sure it looks and smells nice. That brings us to number four, declutter and depersonalize. Let's face it, nobody wants to walk in and out of your furniture just to get to the next room. Get rid of some of that furniture. Okay, and depersonalize. Meaning, that's the same take down this and that, all that kind of stuff. You still live there. But take down that family photograph over the fireplace. It's hard for the buyer to imagine themselves living there, staring at your family photo over the fire. Just kind of hard for them to picture that. No, this wouldn't distract me at all. Right. <laughs> so number five, keep it light and keep it bright. As those pictures showed earlier, nobody wants to walk into a dark environment. They want to be able to see everything. And trust me, I have been in some homes where you can't see what is what and just walk right out. So what you want to do is open up all the shades, turn on all the lights, just make it light and bright as possible. Make it as inviting as possible. So number six, just make it really easy to see. Now we understand that you work during the daytime. Well, chances are your buyers work during the daytime too. So don't say that they can only see it during the daytime, Monday through Friday, because like I said, they're gonna be at work also. Now we're not saying you have to show the house at 10 o'clock at night on a Wednesday night, no. I'm not gonna ask anything like that at all. Just an hour or two's notice, we put a lockbox on there. I come over and I, I meet them. And the agent that the representative will be there also. The lockbox signifies it's used for your protection too. But <clears throat> it's registered with the state of California, so it automatically knows who opened up that box, who went in there, how long they stayed for. It's just the protection. And I show you a little other security protection that how I use it for my bot for my sellers too. But you want to try to have just like an hour to two notice that they have to give, so you can just straighten up. And here's just a free tip: when the buyers do show up and you happen to be around, disappear. Because let me tell you, nobody wants to look at their future home having the homeowner staring over them because now they're going to feel rushed and they're not going to look at their home and they're probably just going to leave. So the house is going to get shown. Just go for a walk around the block, go to a movie, do whatever you got to do, go see a friend. So again, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. So, so if you or anybody that you may know are in need of any real estate services, please reach out to me any which way that you can. All my information is down below, and I really, really love it when people get hold of me through this channel. It, I think it is so cool. Well, until next time, take it easy.